on my planning sheet, and it's, it's in essence a notebook of the project. I start with a sketch or schematic that, it, that starts with the central idea, and then I list all the elements I want to consider, going from text and illustration to how the book is done, how the type style of lettering is done. I do illustrated manuscripts, so what I'm doing is figuring out the type of calligraphy I want to use. I'm, then I'm deciding, is there a book involved and how is that book structured? What's the flow and sequence of the book? It went through four or five reiterations. You can start with text or concept or illustration, but it all has to come together in a, in a unique fashion. If you consider that this project is a deconstructed book, the elements are there enclosed in a box to put together. So you can choose the illustration you want, you can choose the text you want, and you can choose the objects you want to go into your created atmosphere. You're discovering what goes into it, you're choosing elements, and you're making a scene. When I began the project, I knew I had these objects, I knew I had a book, and I knew I had paintings. I did a large drawing, and I put the objects placed on the table in various spots, and I thought about where the book would go, and I left spaces. I wanted it to come together in a section box where each object had its own home, but could be transported to the tokenoma setting. Tokonoma is an alcove of beauty in a Japanese house or tea room. On two visits to Japan, I saw these and saw the elements that went in them and saw how they changed with different seasons, and it had great appeal to me. And in the same way, my book project is a box of the elements that you change. You, it's very meditative, and you, you approach it and choose the elements, choose the text, choose the scenery you want. And as you discover all the parts that could go into the tokenoma, you are creating for yourself your own atmosphere. Everything included in the box has a sensory appeal. There is the visual elements of the artwork in the landscapes. There are the, also the visual elements of the calligraphy in the poetry, which is also something you will hear in your mind as you develop and find the two pieces that go together. You have to touch the objects to move them, to place them, so you have a feel for that. The sense of smell, you could create that with the incense. One of the items in the box is a shell that has been washed by the sea. I found it on a beach and it's just suggestive of the shell, but it's white and it's washed over a lot. I love that. The objects in the tokenoma came from a box that I had of collected natural objects from all my life. And they needed a home and this became a perfect home. The project started with a series of landscapes that I was painting with Sumi ink. And the Sumi ink is a carbon-based ink that's a treasure in Japan, but it is very fluid. It is what is used for most paintings and writings. I had a plan for the landscapes of continuous, almost to infinity, but I chose to do them in segments of four panels that then are put together in a concertina, accordion manner. So I did a series of 14 of these, and I hooked them together in this concertina mode. 
The landscapes are somewhat abstract. They are suggestive of the moon, the sky, the water, the hills. The person brings to it their interpretation, their memories, and everything from their experience to that landscape, and they make the discovery and interpret it. To create a Sumi ink drawing, I use Sumi ink, I use a bottled ink as opposed to an ink stick. And I prepare the paper in front of me. I have in mind a landscape, and I, I use a brush, usually a pointed brush, and do it pretty quickly, suggestive of elements. And it is a very dense black. And then I take that piece of paper to a running water source and wash it under that to create gradations of rays and movement within the paintings. I think haiku is a perfect form of poetry for the tokonoma. Not just cultural background, but because in a few short words, you have found that sense of surprise. You've found that, that element of nature that brings together two elements that normally wouldn't go together. I've done readings of a lot of haiku, and Basho is my favorite. He is with many people. 17th century poet. Uh, the images connect with me, the, the sentiment connects with me, and I like the translation. I use Robert Haas's translations. This tokenoma is a unique manuscript in that there is one copy. The, the landscapes cannot be duplicated exactly. The objects from nature cannot be duplicated exactly. And the poetry, the calligraphy, happens once. Inside the box, in the lid, is a small booklet that gives you suggestions for how to experience the tokenoma. It includes a definition of tokenoma, it has a description of all the objects within the box, and it has some suggestions for how you might experience the tokenoma. I want the person who comes to the tokenoma to find the surprises, to discover the elements, and to create their own unique alcove of beauty.